Institute's performance of the junior high and senior high band. This mic isn't supposed to be loud. It's going to the live stream so everyone in the world can hear it. So. And now everyone in the world and Macomb <laughs> can hear us. I'd like to introduce these fine people sharing the stage with me up front here. These, this is the counseling staff. They've been here for three and a half weeks running the institute, making sure everyone is happy and healthy and where they need to be and safe. They've done a tremendous job, and I'd like to give them a little public recognition. On the far end, we have our two head counselors, Caitlin and Willie. You saw them at the registration. Let's give them a round of applause for their great <laughs> leadership. As I mentioned, I'm Dr. Mike Fanzler, director of the Summer Music Institute. And we're gonna go down the line here. We have, just raise your hand so we can see Tyler, Maddie, Gonzo, <laughs> Michelle, Jordan, Camber, Liz, Crispin, Lisa, Jeremy. Let's give them a big round of applause. Terrific experience this week. You're gonna hear more from the directors, both the junior high band and the senior high band. But I'd like to thank our faculty members for being a part of this camp and all of the staff who taught private lessons and group lessons and master classes. It's just been packed full of instructional time that's gonna last a lifetime for them. We all remember, how many of you remember your camp experience? Anybody? There you go, yeah. Great times this week. It all is possible because of our outstanding leadership in the School of Music, and I'm going to have here at the last concert of this summer Dr. Tammy Walker to stand. Please recognize her, director of the School of Music. <laughs> and finally, I want to talk a little bit about the live streaming. Many of you have cameras out. We have a professional up in the booth by the name of Phil Weiss, and he is going to be doing a professional HD quality recording both with these powerful mics and two camera angles. If you know what YouTube is, that's a good first step. YouTube, and then you search WIU School of Music, and those links will remain live for many months to come. You don't have to watch it live. So you can go home and log in and see a really great performance with tons of close-ups of your loved ones, all these great people behind us. So that we're gonna do the junior high band first, we're gonna do the senior high, and then we're gonna put them together for a bombastic finale. Please help me welcome to the stage graduate of WIU, personal friend, great educator, Miss Katie Leipout.
I want to take a second and recognize the soloist there that got cheated. Um, so Miguel and Malachi, Malachi on saxophone and Miguel on trumpet. Would you guys please? I want to take a second and thank all the parents and families for sending your kids. It's been a real pleasure to work with your kids this week. They're a lot of fun, um, and it's really fun to see their progress throughout the week. They grow really fast this week working with the instructors um, in their sections and learning from each other from the different schools. Um, it's really cool to see them grow. So thank you parents and families for sending your kids and we hope that you'll send them back. It's been a lot of fun. Um, we've had a great week. So I'm gonna let the kids tell you a little bit about our week and what we've done. What you just heard starts our story from the week from the day we arrived to our musical peak. For many of us, twas our camp debut, but for returning campers, it was nothing new. Musical knowledge we soon be learning and life experiences we soon be earning. Not knowing where this week would lead, it was sure to fly by with lots of speed. We walked in the band room to find our seats, excited to learn new musical beats. We take into a land, a land of make-believe with endless possibilities for all to achieve. We soon realized this magical place that music could take us during life's studies race. Next to our journey, an Irish lullaby, dancing and prancing and making time fly.
Things soon started to get a little rough, reminding us all that we are tough. Next on our journey, a world premiere with a musical B that is surely unclear. Just a few notes about this piece to help you understand the musical release. So the next piece, Rough Edges, was written specifically for this band, um, and this will be the first time that it's ever played anywhere. So um, representing the rough edges is going to be sand blocks and rocks. So I'm gonna have the sand blocks hold their sand blocks up. And then we have some rocks that are also playing. So rocks, hold your rocks up. So those are some rough edges throughout the piece. And you'll also notice a, it's a really rough feel. So there's a message behind this piece, piece. And it goes like this. Every one of us has rough edges. We don't always behave the way we should. We don't always say the right things. We don't always care as much as we should. But deep down, we all have something great to bring to this world. It's often buried underneath our rough edges. When we look past others' rough edges, we can often discover talents and characteristics that we didn't know they had. We just have to take the time to look. Try tapping your foot to this tricky tune and we'll meet at the end very soon.
As camp neared the end, our excitement did peak. As we realized our progress we made this week, not to mention the smiles and laughter we shared and the comfort in being with who, people who cared. We encouraged each other throughout the week, realizing we are all special and unique. Memories were made and good times were had, but friendships were endless, too many to add. As, as the week went on, we were molded in shape as our true colors gradually escaped. We began to realize the colors we shared and how each of our colors were importantly paired. With all our talents, personalities, and skills, all of our colors, bright thrills and thrills. Each was important in our own way, just as these colors form this ball of clay. One solid, one solid color, so underground, so can do so little standing alone. But all of our colors can do so much, like fill your world with colors and such. We hope you enjoy our colorful creation as we color our world with our interpretation. One thing is true through the one thing is true through the connections we've made. Camp was an experience we couldn't trade. We thank our families for getting us here and our teachers that helped set our goals clear. Lasting friendships have just begun and marks have been made by everyone. Thanks for coming today. Now enjoy last June. Please drive home safely and come back again soon.
been my thing. I not only get to play it, but I also have opportunities to learn from award-winning guest musicians. My professors offered me the personal attention I was looking for in a music program and challenged me to reach my fullest potential. I know my experience at Western is just the beginning of my success story. Think purple. Think success. Think Western Illinois University. We are Western Illinois University and we are amazing. On Fridays, we wear purple. We are home to professional athletes and actors, lawmakers, CEOs, a civil rights leader, and a three-star general plus over 100,000 other impressive alumni. Our programs are mighty. Our law enforcement program is the largest in the state of Illinois and is known internationally. Supply chain management boasts a nearly 100% job placement rating. And cornfields might surround us, but we have a fine arts program that can rival any large city. It's okay to take courses in wine tasting, wedding planning, scuba diving, grain drying, renaissance art, engineering computational methods, or advanced federal taxation. Sometimes our classes even take us to Disney World. The Apostle Islands, Greece, France, all around the world. For fun, we spray paint a bulldog statue, race cardboard boats, and shave our heads and dance all night to raise money for charities. Not only do we paint the paws before homecoming, but we show our love for our mighty mascot, Colonel Rock, with painted statues all over town. Sometimes we play volleyball with a giant pink ball, and sometimes we play in the mud. It's totally normal to look at our res hall windows and see a hot air balloon floating by. Or experience all four seasons in one day. Hey alumni, jump on that Amtrak from Chicago or St. Louis or anywhere in between. And come back to get a horseshoe, listen to the award-winning jazz studio orchestra, or tailgate before a D1 game. Not every school can say they started the four-year cost guarantee program and have a second campus on the banks of the mighty Mississippi. We are Western Illinois University. And we, we are, are the Leathernecks. Thank you very much. And now the senior high band will perform. I'd like to introduce the conductor this week. He's a great friend, wonderful educator, the current director of bands at Geneseo High School, and before that was at Rock Island, also a graduate of Western Illinois University. Please help me welcome to the stage Steve Shear. Thank you so much. We're going to begin our program with uh, John Krantz's arrangement of An American in Paris. In describing his An American in Paris, Gershwin said, An American in Paris opens with the depicting the protagonist American strolling throughout Paris. Gershwin went to great length and uh, time and expense to find authentic French taxi horns for inclusion in the work's premiere. Later, according to Gershwin, our American friend, perhaps after strolling into a cafe and having a couple of drinks, has succumbed to a spasm of homesickness. But finally, the homesick American, having left the cafe and reached the open air, has disowned his spell of the blues and once again is an alert spectator of Parisian life. At the conclusion, the street noises and French atmosphere are triumphant. This is an American in Paris.
Elegy for a Young American is written about John F. Kennedy. It was written in 1964, one year after Kennedy's death. Having been born the same year that Kennedy was assassinated, I shared with the students that I thought I remembered Kennedy's assassination. Because as I was growing up as a young child, the pain was still there in our country, and the conversation was still there. And I had heard enough discussion and historical reporting that I thought that it was something that I had experienced, but it wasn't that. It was that the pain lasted for so long that I remember the aftermath. Two years ago, in the spring, we went to Dallas, and for the first time, I visited the location in Dallas where that event took place. And again, after knowing about this for my entire lifetime, I was overwhelmed with the smallness of the location and the grief of the pain that took place the day of that event and after that, because it was so personal when I stood there and looked at the, the X marked on the highway at the exact point where he was when that, that shot was fired. And so um, in performing Elegy for a Young American, uh, I did some research about the piece and I'd like to share. Ed Dunn is a musicologist who shares music listening assignments through his website. He wrote the following about this piece. Ronald Lopresti's Elegy for a Young American was published in 1964, the year following the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. The piece itself follows a pattern describing the emotions experienced through the grief process. It begins with a clarinet choir into a quick buildup into a large climax, indicating the moment of disaster. There is a sense of confusion, hurt, anger in the introduction. Following the climax, a trombone chorale leads us into a section of mourning and a growing understanding of the events that have unfolded. He wrote it as a response to Kennedy's assassination as a means of coping. I would argue that for Lopresti, writing Elegy for a Young American was his own personal realization of the acceptance stage. I think it speaks to a very deep personal area in all of us. I think it attaches directly to our innate fear and anger about death and pulls it out to display for all to see and examine laid completely bare. I think it gives the excitement of looking over the edge and gazing long into the abyss. I think it awakens in all of us the awareness of how frail and finite our lives tragically are. This is Elegy for a Young American.
The first time I ever stepped on the campus at Western Illinois University was 1975. I was 12 years old, and I was going to junior high summer music camp to be in the junior high band. And I stayed in Corbin Hall, and many things back in that, that time on this campus are very, very different now than they were back then. But many things are the same. And one of the things that's the same is the quality of the experience here. Um, band kids are band kids. I don't care where you go. They're good people. And the time that we have spent together this week has been so rewarding. Um, the rehearsal etiquette of these ladies and gentlemen on stage has just really gelled into a relationship between the members in the band. Um, the productivity of every rehearsal was exciting and rewarding. And I'm most sincere when I say that it's a privilege to be on the podium in front of a band like this because an experience like this can go a lot of different ways. And I really believe that they have made it the best that it can be this week. I think that we learned a lot of music, and I think that we learned a lot about music. And so after my band camp experience, um, and after being a band director now for 30 years, I was invited to come back and conduct this band where literally where it all started for me. And so this is really close to my heart, and, and I genuinely appreciate the opportunity. And so after playing something as heavy and serious as Elegy for a Young American, I'm gonna exercise my artistic freedom and we're gonna play something fun. This is Danzas Cubanas.
Music has always been my thing. I not only get to play it, but I also have opportunities to learn from award-winning guest musicians. My professors offered me the personal attention I was looking for in a music program and challenged me to reach my fullest potential. I know my experience at Western is just the beginning of my success story. Think purple. Think success. Think Western Illinois University. Western in one word, strength. Tradition. Potential. Supportive. Camaraderie. Champions. Partnership. Networking. Loyalty. Caring. When I think of you, I think of uh, Springboard. Uh, go next. Friendship. Honors. Military. Tradition. Always. Opportunity. Energetic. Legacy. Forever. Success. Family. Tradition. Knowledge. Pride. Nothing. Better than Joe! Go! Go! Life-changing. Family. Alumni. Community. Besties. Sweden. Diversity. Family. Home. Leadership. Travel. My one word is education. Perseverance. My word is home. Uh, academic excellence. Uh, wait, that's two words. Educational opportunity. No, that's not working. Um, military traditions. Nope, that's not it. Friendships for life. Met my wife. No, no, this is harder than I thought. One word. You know, I'm just so darn proud of this university, its faculty, its staff, its students, our traditions and history. Wait, there's my word, pride. I have pride in Western Illinois University.
safe ride home. Thank you, everyone. Campers, the campers.